video. I am so excited to start this new video series on my blog. Um, I'm going to try and do videos probably once a week. Um, when I graduate I could probably throw in a few more. I will be doing videos on, of course, like everybody knows, my best friend is my gypsy. I will be focusing on the gypsy. For my very first video I would like to show you my craft room. Go ahead and show it to you right now. I hope you enjoy it and Okay everybody, here it is. This is what it looks like when you first come into my room. Um, we will go ahead and get started over here on the left. I hope the kids here on the left, you see all those baskets there. Uh, believe it or not, those are filled with ribbon. You can never have enough ribbon and I love ribbon, so I don't care if I have it coming out of my ears. Uh, right there, the little stamp holder. My dad actually built that for me and those are the stamps that I have not unmounted yet. I wanted to, those are pretty much like all my favorite ones from Stampin' Up and I would like to keep them out so you could see them. And right next to them, those three uh, wooden towers that you see there, my dad also built those for me for storage and I won't be opening those because I know those are a mess. I have those filled up with, I mean those are the best thing for storage. I mean pretty much they're 24 inches deep so God knows I have a lot of stuff in there. Right there are my punches. That's the best way to store your punches are in the shoe rack holders and I've seen those from many other people's videos. Over here is my Cricut station and pretty much all my cartridges you see. This is how I store all of my stamps. I unmount them and I put them on CD, the little CD holders there and that seems to work out perfect for me. Um, my score pal, which I love and there goes my, um, my Cricut. Then my, also I still kept my baby bug. There goes my gypsy. And right below here are all of my um, pattern papers. And I love having them there. But in these last two, this is the last two little um, containers are my Stampin' Up! punches. And these are all my die cuts with the view paper pads. More paper right there. And we also have up here... Um, I have my Sizzik die cuts, the ones that are supposed to be used with the Big Shop, but I use them in my Cuddle Bug and they work just fine. Um, I have lots of buttons there. In here in this little corner cabinet, oops, I used to have this in my hallway to put all my candles, but I really needed it in here. So these are more Sizzik dies here, more stamps, and in down here also more buttons as you can see. I love buttons. And here, this is how I store all of my scraps of ribbon. And right here is my cute little ribbon iron. So if I take a scrap out and it needs to be ironed, I could do that. Put that back in there. And here in this section here in this corner are more stamps. Also more stamps. And I also have some stamps in there and I'll show you that another day. Um, over here I have my little Prima flowers um, and this little, is this is funny because this little entertainment center used to be in my living room. So this I put all of my Stampin' Up! papers, there goes my phone, um, all my Stampin' Up! papers in here and sorry about that. Um, more paper here, my Stampin' Up! markers, actually it's mostly actually all Stampin' Up! and paper tray and here. <laughs> more ribbon and this is this one I like to keep in here because this is all the ribbon that I get that matches my um, paper tray ink and over here is my desk where the computer is well one of the computers at least and over here my dad also built me a little for all my ink pads which worked perfectly for all of my Stampin' Up! ink pads um, and I have some more up there which were the in colors that I couldn't fit in there and another thing my dad had built me this right here um, more paper tray ink pads and I have my glitters more buttons um, that's it there and then here's where I keep my cuddle bug and here goes all of the folders for it and here 
few little things that my kids made for me when they were in preschool. And here are my glues. I love this stuff right here. And my two egg zig glues. And here we have like my score tape, which works the same as the red kind. Um, st the little dimensionals, more tape there. My sewing machine. And this here, also something my dad built for me. Isn't that cute? That's a, uh, a little file cabinet that actually works perfectly on there. And down here, same thing. He built that for me, a little stand for my printer. And I love it because lots of storage. And we have another uh, little stamp rack he built for me right there. And right here is my table that I work at that little cutting board all the time. I know it's a little big, but it actually works out perfect for me. I keep it right there by my desk. And we have, there goes my laptop. Um, and we have right here, right below my desk are just little more storage. Little, they're actually made out of material. They're really nice. I found those at Bed Bath & Beyond. I thought they would be perfect since it matches my room. And you see that one right there is overstuffed. Um, and then, of course, my red chair. I'm not sure if you could see it that well, but I had to have a red chair. I got that a long time ago at some magazine. In some magazine. And over here, another something my dad built for me. The little corner. It's a corner bookshelf. So I kind of put, like, all my magazines, stamp, you know, my craft magazines, snapping up. Um, any craft. Anything that has to do with craft. And then, again, another stamp holder. Can't have enough of those. And over here is where I just keep all the extra in color markers that didn't fit with the Stampin' Up. In here, in my little drawers, I have, as you can see, I love, I love eyes. The little googly eyes. I have all that in there. Um, and if anybody has been following my blog, you know I love boa. Here goes my little boa. I got some more flowers in there. And more embellishments there and these last three of both sides is how I store all my scrap paper so what I do like in one of the drawers for example I put all my scraps of um, blue and yellow so if I ever need to make something I look here immediately first because it's a perfect way to use everything up and same thing that's all the green <laughs> all my craft because God knows I love craft cardstock so same thing down there, purple and pink together, all the whites, and then all the blacks down there, and the chocolate chip colors. And in here are just chipboard letters and all my little, these are for when I make my little packages. I close it with those, the little, what do you call these, the wire thingies to close the bag up. And same thing, more chipboard letters. And in here, in this little drawer, same thing, I have more chipboard letters in there. Um... These are stuff my kids have given me, so I have to keep it in here. They're cute. And right here, stickles, stickles, stickles. I love my stickles. As you can see, I have a few colors. And right here are just my little Maya Mist sprays that if, because I have some, I use it a lot with chipboard letters sometimes. If they're just the plain ones, I could spray them with this to give them some color. Um, more stickles. And then here are all of my glue dots. Of course, they're in order right here. And right here is my little ribbon, another ribbon holder. My dad actually built that for me also. Isn't that cute? And then right here is how I store my um, glitters and my embossing powders. It just, I've seen that in another video and I thought it was such a perfect way to store it because when you're actually embossing something, you can leave it all in the little container and I'll show you that one day. Um, less of a mess is great. And this, these here, in this little drawer set right here, are all of my little scraps that I have cut out, which either must have been the wrong size, or I didn't like the way it looked on my card. So I keep them all in here. Um, so if I ever want to make a card one day, or if the boys want to make something, they're welcome to those. And then down here, that little storage, also my dad built that, and this is where I keep all of my clear blocks for my stamps, um, the more stampings. And that's about it. That's everything. That is my room. I hope you enjoyed it.